Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This soap that I'm making is a tribute, a donation, and a heartfelt creation. The vase I'm showing you here was made by a very special community of folk artists who have autism, Down syndrome, and some other conditions as well. And maybe conditions is the wrong word to use here. And if so, I apologize. I don't mean to offend anyone. When I was a boy, I was punished for doing something silly at school. I was, I think, in second or third grade. And the punishment was to go and help a teacher who taught the special ed students. I loved it. <laughs> it wasn't punishment at all. Because while I was bullied by the other kids in the school, these children loved me. They hugged me as soon as I walked in. They were glad to see me when I got there each day to help out. I taught them how to make a bed, how to... Um, I would guide them, take them to the restroom, or take them outside, or take them to lunch. And I adored it. I really did. It was no punishment at all. As a matter of fact, I think it was part of what made me who I am today. And as such, I've always had a very special affinity for those people that fall into those categories. And this vase was sold at an auction a few years ago, many years ago, actually. And all the artists there were folks who had either Down syndrome or some of the other uh, issues that I mentioned earlier. And while this vase is, or excuse me, this picture is perhaps what some would consider imperfect, to me it's a thing of beauty. I attach so much love to this item. And because it's misshapen, and because it has cracks, and because it's not like every other one made in a factory, it is something of great significance and something I value very greatly. Because I remember the look on the artist's face when I purchased it. Giving someone that kind of joy is something that you so rarely get to experience in life. And for any of you that have been around folks like this, you should know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I hope that you will try to engage with some of these folks because you're really missing out if you have not. Now, this particular soap was a special request. This is all coming together in sort of a trifecta of the parent of one of these children who cannot have any kind of scent, no fragrance whatsoever, no artificial anything in the soap. And I've made soap for them before, but this young man, he, he's actually 38, but he's a child. And anyway, the one issue that he has are rough elbows and knees. And so she asked me specifically for this type of soap. And while I have others, I wanted to make this one special. I wanted to make it in colors like the vase that I purchased from someone very much like this young man. And what a joy this has been for me, putting it together using these natural ingredients that I love to use and hopefully creating something of beauty and something utilitarian that he will use. But it also put me on a path. There is an organization right here in East Texas um, that does a lot for special needs folks. And so I have contacted these people and the, the people that run this organization, and I'm actually going to be having an auction of a bunch of my products and donating the funds to that organization. 
One of the things that I've done is, uh, at least here on YouTube and Etsy, I have reduced the price of my grab bags by 25%. So if you need some soaps right now, purchase them. And for everyone that is purchased, the entire profit goes to this organization. And I'll put the information on the screen and link the website as well. So you can take a look. Maybe you want to donate to them directly. But it's just something I felt a need to do. And so I'm going to do it. <laughs> and with all of your help, maybe we can make a really big donation. I think that would be really exciting. But the most important thing for me in this was to make sure that I put a lot of love into it. Now, as you know, I don't do a lot of fancy swirls and those sort of things, but I did try in the soap to create something a little different. The, the cut on the soap, as you'll see at the end, is nice. It's nothing remarkable, but I was happy with it. And quite frankly, uh, I'm not sure how busy designs and things like that will be accepted by this young man. Um, I hope he likes it. And I did speak to his mother and she seemed to think so. So <laughs> I hope so. But if not, I'll make another and another and another until I get it right. Because that's what's important to me. Um, I'm working so much right now and I'm really tired. That's why my videos have been more sporadic than normal. I'm just so tired. I get off work. I'm not kidding you. I have to take a nap. Um, and that's not me. I'm just really exhausted all the time and I don't know why. I don't feel sick. I don't feel bad at all and I'm in a great mood. I'm happy right now and I can't even tell you why, but I I'm in a really good mood. I feel at peace with the world, but I'm just so tired. <laughs> I fall asleep uh, watching television, which is something I never do. I've never done. This is new, like within the last two weeks. Um, and I'm cold all the time. And I think that is because I'm keeping the house really cold. It's too expensive to keep the furnace going. So I do keep the house rather cold, but I keep the din uh rather warm. Now my soaping room is cold, but that seems beneficial to soaping, at least for me. But when I'm in uh, the back room, uh, the, the den, I do keep that warm. I have heat in there and I have a fireplace, so I'm perfectly comfortable most of the time. But it, and maybe that's why I'm sleepy. I'm in that warm room all the time. And don't worry, there's no risk of carbon monoxide, anything like that. I, there's plenty of ventilation. No, I think I'm just going through a phase. <laughs> Maybe I'm going through a second puberty at 60, right? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds silly. I know I'm silly. But uh, anyway, I, I really am happy to be making this because making a soap just for YouTube, just for the heck of it, is fun. I do enjoy that immensely. And making soap custom orders, I love doing that as well. But when I get to do something like this, where I can actually, well, there, there are certainly plenty of people on YouTube that do great things. And I don't generally speak of these kind of things because, well, I'll, and I won't. I'm not going to discuss charities that I'm involved with that sort of thing. I, I think that's pointless. And I don't need kudos or thanks for that sort of thing. Um, but this is different for me because I am involving you because I'm letting you know there's a sale there and maybe that's something you'll be interested in. So by doing that, you will in essence be helping to make that donation. Does that make sense? And you're saving money. <laughs> and I won't be cutting back on these grab bags, by the way. These are full grab bags with seven to nine bars of soap and some other goodies as well. And uh, free shipping if you uh, well, it's only free shipping on uh, Etsy if you spend $35, but nonetheless, it is a, I think, a really great bargain. And it's a lot of, uh, it has a, well, it's a lot of fun for me to do, but it's also a good thing to do. 
Um, and if you're not involved in your community, maybe you don't have time, I understand, or you've got a bunch of children that you have to tend to. It can be hard to do anything like this. But I'm just saying, if it's something that is in your community, oftentimes they have issues with funding. So keep that in mind, if that's something you can help out with. Um, now, they don't take donations of soap, at least at this particular place. They need other things, so that's why I want to make a cash donation. Um, that way they can get the things that they need. Um, and some of the things that they need I can supply, because there were a few things I noticed under their uh, website uh, that list some of the other things that they need, and I can fulfill some of those. Um, but this just seemed like something fun. But they don't... Um, they're not a housing unit. They don't um, have housing, so they don't need things like soaps and things like that. So I couldn't really help in that area, so selling them is a better way to go. So thank you all. I, I am over 3,000 now, and that just amazes me. It never occurred to me that could happen. And I do have an upcoming video I'm working on uh, about the drawing. And I'm sorry it's taking so long. It's just, like I said, I've just been so weirdly tired. And um, it, I'm sure it'll pass. Maybe it's just a winter thing. <laughs> and it has been chilly. But they say we're going to have some warm days in the 70s next week. And I'm really excited about that. Do you know my daffodils are blooming in January? What's well, now February, but... I was just so surprised. Daffodils and my grape hyacinths and several of those things are blooming, which just amazed me. So have a wonderful day, everyone. It's always great having you here. I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.